please tell us what is your research focus? Yeah, so our institute, uh, the Leibniz Institute for Neurobiology, is dedicated for learning and memory research. And simply we try to support the scientists in the institute, but also uh, with open access, uh, the university and external researchers with imaging um, yeah, to support learning and memory research. So personally, my focus is on analyzing the neuronal network. That means the contacts between nerve cells and therefore we need high resolution. So what impact does super resolution microscopy have for your research? It gives us deeper insight um, into the synapses, into the synaptic machinery, into the molecules we would like to see. Um, before we could do only by electron microscopy and now uh, with super resolution we also have access by light microscopy to, yeah, to the deeper structures inside the nerve system. So what was it like to see the first super resolution image? Phew. Yeah, so this is uh, some years back I have seen first super resolution microscope or super resolution images. Uh, I think it was before the commercial systems were available. Uh, of course I was impressed, uh, but on the other hand Coming from the electron microscopy, uh, you see that we knew even better uh, the deeper uh, detailed structures uh, before. But now you can do uh, with fluorescence, um, you enter a new dimension, and uh, yeah, we were really impressed to see. So, how do innovations such as 3D super resolution help? you to pursue new approaches. So here during the meeting I was really impressed to see how good the uh, improvement in the set resolution helps also to improve the XY resolution. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this uh, will have a uh, yeah, good future or it will be maybe in some years it will be a standard. Uh, in the future. But what are the major challenges now using super resolution techniques? Of course, um, live cell imaging, so to combine high resolution with uh, live cell capabilities. Um, in addition with uh, functional imaging, so we want to extract more features out of the fluorescent signal. So far it's just a tag uh, to see the structure a little bit better. So I think the big challenges uh, are to get faster images, uh, faster imaging um, and to, to apply it for, for live cell. So how would you rate the future significance of super resolution in life science? On a score from 1 to 10? <laughs> 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 uh, um, yeah, as I mentioned, um, I think in some, some years it will be the standard procedure and nobody will talk uh, about normal confocal. Of course, so these are the good working horses, but uh, so uh, the option to have everything at, let's say, 50 nanometers, uh, nobody would care on uh, maybe the old uh, systems. Oh, my last question. What are your experiences with Leica Microsystems as collaboration partner? Well, that's, uh, that's a pretty difficult question. So, um, we were working now with Leica Microscopes for the last 20, 25 years. Um, I think this answers already your question. So, the collaboration uh, was good and uh, so concerning confocal we always stick to, to Leica systems um, and I hope uh, we will get uh, the same uh, support as, uh, as before as, uh, 
during the last uh, yeah, 20, 25 years. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>